some weather with a meteorologist Vivian Rennie now this morning. Uh, we have a, a little bit of a, a foggy, cloudy type of morning, don't we? Absolutely. We're just kind of on the edge of that more active system that brought us some significant rain yesterday. But the good news is that is clearing out and we're going to be bringing plenty of sunshine into the forecast. Temperatures climbing into the 70s over the next couple days with abundant sunshine. So make sure to get outside and enjoy the sunshine while it lasts this weekend. Now this morning, we're not quite seeing those clear skies just yet. This morning, some limited visibilities for many of our communities. Thankfully, nowhere falling into those really concerning categories, less than a quarter of a mile for many of our communities right now right around one mile for most of our communities. That does include Paso Robles, San Luis Obispo, and San Inez. A little bit more of that dense fog, especially in the interior, especially heading through the Cuyama Valley as well, and along our south coast where there is some patchy dense fog at this point. Just be cautious on those roadways where visibilities may fall. Now, temperatures aren't too bad this morning. Actually, pretty comfortable as you head out the door. 54 degrees in Santa Bria, 57 in San Luis Obispo, 57 in Santa Barbara. And even though these are some of the coldest conditions we're going to be seeing for today. They're actually warmer than some of the high temperatures we saw just a couple of days ago and over the weekend. So that's marking a pretty significant increase and you can just see the increase in the last 24 hours is significant as well. Seven degrees warmer than this time yesterday in San Inez, six degrees warmer in the Cuyama Valley and four degrees warmer in San Luis Obispo, Santa Maria and Cambria. And unlike sometimes where I say it's warmer than it was yesterday in the morning, but we're not going to keep that gain. We are going to continue to see these warmer conditions all the way into the evening hours with plenty more sunshine as well. So checking out those temperatures yesterday, low 60s and some upper 50s today, mid 60s for the region. 62 in Paso Robles, 66 in San Luis Obispo, 64 for Santa Maria and Lompoc and 65 degrees in Santa Barbara. Great conditions across the region. Continue to see pretty comfortable conditions along our north coast. A couple degrees cooler, 59 at our coolest location in Cayuga, 65 in Avila Beach and 63 degrees in San Miguel for today for the five cities region. Napomo at 65, 60 64 in Pismo Beach and 61 in Shandon. Get outside and enjoy it, especially along our south coast with plenty of sunshine. 66 in Goleta, 69 degrees in Solvang. They could reach 70 for today and 50 degrees in the Koyama Valley. Now, if you're looking at those temperatures nearing the 70s and you're hoping to see them, we'll be seeing them for most of our communities soon. That's going to come alongside some good conditions along our beaches. Right now, relatively calm, but there's another swell headed our way that we already have an advisory in place for. That high surf advisory is in place for all of our West Western beaches all the way through 4 p.m. tomorrow. We could see breaking waves with those localized sets up to 12 feet, and that also brings us an added risk of a rip current concern for those beaches. That's going to be pretty good conditions across most of our region, but especially for Pismo Beach where the slow cal open is happening all the way through this weekend. It's something that we're going to be keeping a close eye on. Now checking out that seven day forecast. Just look at this warm up 70s for Saturday, Sunday and Monday into Tuesday for many of our communities. Then things are going to start to cool down a little bit. You can already see one rain icon on the forecast. And those are going to become much more widespread as we head through the end of the forecast into the extended forecast. Early days of February are going to be bringing in several chances of significant rain to us here on the Central Coast. I'll keep a close eye on that and give you more details as it gets closer, but this is definitely going to be a big change in our pattern, something you're going to want to keep a very close eye on. Neil, back to you. All right.